This week we're going to revisit a technique that we tried a couple of years ago in one of my videos where it talked about stamping and tissue decoupage and so forth. We're really not going to do the stamping part this time, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some possibilities with different components that we have at bisuboutiques.com where we have the all good the stuff. good stuff. Yeah. And kind of get you started a little bit on the technique. Maybe you can play around with it a little bit this week. You know, um, this time of year, right now it's February and this is 2014 and it's not a good winter in Ohio where we're at, maybe where you're at not either. A lot of people have the doldrums. You know what the doldrums are? That's just when you want to sleep all the time. You want to sleep all the time and hibernate like an old bear, you know, and go to sleep at seven. Go to sleep at seven <laughs> and just like say, "Oh man, why is my Etsy shop doing nothing?" Because we're not doing nothing. We're not doing nothing, and yeah. you gotta kick yourself in the hiney and start doing something. So this video, this video is about making it happen and kicking yourself in the hiney. So come on over here. We're gonna do some tissue decoupage. I'm going to get started on it, and then until next week, I think we'll expand a little bit and do maybe two videos on this. And get you started making a bunch of components, because when you make yourself a bunch of new components, then that gets those juices flowing. So don't even think about doing a whole new piece if you're kind of in a funk. Let's just do a technique. Let's just do some parts, and get some parts around, and pretty soon you're going to have... All kinds of new stuff in your show hampers, your Etsy store, for gifts, you name it. You're just going to be on a roll. So like I said, again, get over here and we're going to go for it. Okay, so I'm going to show you some examples of tissue decoupage. It's a surface treatment that you can do on raw brass or plated brass. Uh, brass ox chalk, a kiss is good with some tissue decoupage. Um, usually you do it on blank still, but I'm going to show you, um, I think at the beginning we'll do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you a variety of things that it works on and give you SKU numbers for bsuboutiques.com. And you can even look through your own stash of things and see if you have stuff like that maybe already that you could try it on. Um, but for example, something that I like to do tissue decoupage on a lot is um, this tie finding. It's FIG 06261, F-I-G 06261, and as you can see, it is hinged, it moves, so what you have to do is you have to hole punch it here and here, and you can make a necklace from it, okay, so that's what I'll do with this, and I can even show you an example, because I have one, I think I even did part of it in my last tissue decoupage video, and I still have the necklace, um, Donna, if you want to hand me the necklace here. Here you go. Here you go. This is a finished one with the neckline treatment. And it hooks on this side here. And it's got a little piece of tissue here. It's got a little bit of stamping. It's got some embossing powder. And then I did a little bit of assemblage over top of it. Now, if you do stamping over brass, which we're not going to cover in this video. You can go back to the previous one. I think it's... Uh, January of 2012 maybe. So you're gonna have to go back a little ways. Remember it was when I just got out of the hospital and, yeah. and I did it in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Down in the old workshop. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, if you do that, <laughs> what you need to know is you need to do it with stays on ink and then you have to find a sealant that will not make the inks run, okay? Um, some will make them run. I use none design sealant on this one and it's fine but I had some pieces down in the workshop there that over time they got kind of tacky and I uh, at this time don't sell none design sealant but if you are good with it that is one that works to not make ink run but like I said this is more about putting the tissue on but this is an example of something you can do with that tie. Okay, this is our necklace crescent, and we've used this a lot of times in the videos, base 01790. This is the heart base, and we're going to work on this in the video. We did this a few weeks ago. I torched this, and then I used my texturizing hammer on it, but this blue is applied with perfect pearls, which is like an embossing powder, like a mica powder, really. 
and you put uh, the embossing um, perfect medium down first. I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're going to also put a piece of decoupage on here, so I'm going to show you that in this video too. Another thing that works really well is our, these flowers. This one is, this little one here is Fig 0160, and this one is Fig 04143. They're in raw brass. Now let me show you what tissue decoupage does with this. I made this. Looks like a paper flower almost, doesn't it? It's completely tissue decoupaged, and then I riveted the two layers together. So I'm going to do one of them. You see that, Donna? See what we do is we, we put it on there and then we tear it away. And this was in the previous video, but I'm going to do it again. Nothing boring yeah, about that. Yeah, no. And then um, this is kind of cool. This is the the lady with the harp, and it's Fig F I G O seven six six nine raw brass. I torched this, and I got a lovely rainbow hue on this. I did this with my mini torch, and then I applied just a little bit of tissue down here, and I covered it with jewelry shield to seal it. And I that think was that, it. That's what's missing. Mm -hmm. I love that torch patina, mm -hmm. but this is what's missing when you when you put the extra on it. Mm -hmm. It really makes it. Yeah, and I also did a little bit of the perfect pearls around yeah. the edge. So I have one here that's not done yet. I can show you real quick. So those are some good ones. This one's good too. This flower with the two holes because it's completely flat, and then you could just poke through with the tissue, and you can add the perfect pearls. This one is really good with the texture and the perfect pearls. I'm going to show you how that works. Um, the spoons are good. We, oh, a lot of our spoon findings just came back in and they, all of them work really good for this. Like you could put a little bit of a tissue in the bowl of the spoon and maybe a couple little pearls or something and then loop this and you've got a little earring drop or a charm or whatever. This crown is also good. This just came in Fig 07676. It's got three holes. That. Yeah, you could, I would torch this first. And then I would maybe do a little bit of the perfect pearls around the edge and then just do a little bit of tissue over like a piece of ripped paper, you know. And then I would probably hole punch it here and here. And I would hang some stuff down from the bottom, some funky stuff, maybe some found items, and then you can make a necklace from it. And uh, you'd be good for Mardi Gras, <laughs> which yeah. I think is coming right up. So anyway, there's some ideas. So I'm going to just start out with showing you <clears throat> the tissue decoupage technique on this piece which has been prepped. Is this showing up in the screen there? Probably, okay. All right, now with um, the tissue decoupage and the Perfect Pearls, you want to use the Doris heat gun, heat tool, which we carry on the website. Or if you have a Ranger heated tool, in this case, I don't, I like this one best because it's so all-purpose, but the heated tool for embossing powders might be a little better choice because it heats a little more slowly, but unfortunately mine is down in the old workshop, so we got to use this one, but this works really good. This is, if you can only buy one heating tool, this would be the one to buy because it does everything. Uh, you just have to get a little bit more technique, but the heated tool by Ranger is a little slower. Okay. Let's get after it. I'm going to put this behind me for a minute, back the plug in, and I'm going to show you the basic way to apply the tissue. Okay, so here's a piece of tissue that I have. This is uh, Seven Gypsies tissue, which I like it because you can eliminate the stamping. You already got that right on your tissue. They don't sell this in a, in a gift shop or in the dollar store. You're not going to get this with white tissue. You'd have to stamp over it, and then maybe your ink would run. So you got this done. That's why I love this, and we do sell it. Okay, so now what I'm going to need... Oh, that's not what it. What can I do to help you? I need this. <laughs> what can you do to help me? <laughs> I pulled your tooth <laughs> last week. I'll I need anything. help, yeah. She pulled my tooth, yeah. Right. Okay, so I like... I want to find a little piece in here that I like and it's got the words I want. And I want to like apply a piece going crisscross across here. So I'm just going to kind of rip this out of my tissue paper. What words I, did I, you like? I like heart. But what I found is I don't want to get this hanging off the edges too much because then you get this glurpy, glumpy, greebly stuff that you have to clean off and distress off. So I'm finding it's better to not go over your edges. Well, that's good. 
but yeah so I I mean you can and you can deal with it I'd rather not deal with it okay? why, not, why not do the easier yeah, way let's go the easier way so I'm gonna put a kitty corner like this so the first thing I need is I need my Mod Podge which is I use Mod Podge mat and that is a bodacious big jar of it but is I use long, a lot of it. Will that keep very long? Um, yeah yeah as long as you keep it sealed yeah yeah so first you get one of these little sponge brushes from the craft shop store or wherever you can get them and you put down Mod Podge good bit you might remember this from the last time we did this I actually watched that old video did you yeah yeah I actually watched it myself yesterday did you? yeah yeah that's funny yeah to see what in the world did I say I can't remember okay so I you can see I them. just put it Right down over top of it, and then it I'm, it kind of, I'm kind of I don't know why. pushing that out. Yeah, this is messy too, guys. You know, so we I keep care. some nice all dual action wipes at the ready, or some baby wipes. You know, whatever you use. Okay, so that's that looks pretty good. That's still on. That looks kind of nice with all those colors. It looks like it's just kind of popping out there, right? Yeah. Uh huh. And so then I want to do another layer over it of my podge. Maybe two, depending. Yeah, now, don't will it take ah. You have to guess. No, I yeah, no, if I use the heat gun on this, which I could, it might get a little, little kind of, I don't know, kind of bubbles a little bit. Is it better to let it just dry? I think solid? you should. Yeah, so maybe like a half hour or so. Okay. You know, I would like make a whole bunch of them and mod podge them up, and then wait the next day to do the ceiling and finish work on them. That's what I would do. But that's basically the application, guys. And I know it looks like, oh, it's all white and wrecked. No, it's not. It's going to dry very clear and very nice. So it's easy. It's okay. very interesting. It's very interesting and, and, it's, it very, catches your eye. and very, very simple. Mm -hmm. So let me sit this out of the way. Now, I'm going to show you how I did the lady. This is very, I very simple. I love these so much. I this have is, to tell you. I, they are so pretty. I always They're, think of what, so what song is she playing? What song is she playing? Yeah, I don't oh, know. I'm so too maybe an English even... art song, or is she singing? Don't touch this, but she, or uh, play, <laughs> play that funky music, maybe. Yeah. Who were listening okay. to that this morning? Okay, um, so I'm going to show you how to put the perfect pearls on. Super, super simple. It comes with this. We have perfect pearls on the site under the paints and tinas and stuff. Okay, you can tell I've used this a bit. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I want to get just, it feels like it's kind of dry, but it's not. There's stuff in it. And there's even pens that you can buy that have embossing medium in them too, or perfect medium, whatever. I'm just going around the edges, but you do have to do this. What is that? It, well, it's, what it it's do? some kind of stuff that makes this mica powder stick. Okay. You, you, it's not going to work for you if, if the mica powder doesn't stick. No. No, Jordan looks like he's out there and you can't get in. Well, I'm enjoying so, this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm how sorry I was. <laughs> he's, he's, out there, it? he's out there walking up and down right in, the, in the park. <laughs> park <laughs> park the girl. Let him in, just give him a okay, I gotta be quiet because they're okay. gonna get mad because I didn't tell okay, you. Know, I'm we, goofed we off. We forgot we're on camera. Yeah, we forgot we're on camera. Okay, okay so I did that. So here, I'm gonna just go over this and see. You know what happened while we goofed off and laughed around? It dried. <laughs> Don't do that. So I have my embossing pen here. I'm going to just use this and go over it again. And no, I don't carry this on the website, but I will soon because I just discovered I had this and it's just so awesome for when you want to do the perfect curls. This is a pen. Embossing Ranger, pen. Ranger, Ranger embossing pen. Okay, now, dry brush. Dip it down into your perfect pearls. Ooh, this is called interference red, but there's like all kinds of colors. Okay, this is actually like pink, and I've just... Put it all over the place there so i'll just go through that but you see when i'm getting around the edges and just adding a little bit of color and you know if you do scrapbooking and stuff like that you're real real familiar with this stuff real real familiar and you know better than me how to apply it and do all this stuff so you know if you have tips that you want to pass on and put in the comments uh so long as you do it kindly i would love for you to do it and teach us all because that's what it's about. I never said I knew everything. I just have the ideas. And that's, I want to get you started with some new ideas this week. And see, I can stick my finger right in there and kind of brush that out to get down in here, get down to her feet. Yeah, Jordan finally got in. If anybody was worried about him out there, he, he's okay. If they weren't, well, that's okay. They're still okay. Yeah, okay, so now I've got this lovely pink going on around the edge. 
And now what I want to do is I want to just kind of punch over this. What could, I, could you put that on beads? Would that why not? Okay? Would it be okay? Not, I don't think I don't think glass br yucky. brass would be. Yeah, this the would be, would be great. I want to do absolutely, I'm absolutely. Inspired. If you got some brass filigree, you, I do. You're I ready to go. So now we need that. a little piece. I like this piece here that says life. There's a little piece here that says life. I hope I'm not off screen. Okay, there's a little piece here that says life. And I'm just kind of tearing it out with my fingers. And I'm going to put that right down here and get my brush down. This is the Mod Podge mat that I put in the lid of the jar. Do they have like different styles, like different themes on the paper, or is it all about Yeah, no, no, there's, um, I don't actually carry the one with the words right now, but I carry the bird song one, which is awesome. Has, well, that's just And everything. then um, I carried, and Jordan is now making noise, um, and I carry, um, and you can see I just, you know, went under it and over it, okay, and just smooth it out like that. Under it and over it and smooth it out, and try not to tear it, try not to take it off the side. Okay, so now she's down there like that, okay? You know, I didn't think that it would be as, like, it just impresses me. I didn't well, realize it's how much fun. you added. And then, when it, and then when it's dry, real good and dry, then I might do some more um, embossing pen around the edge or, you know, the embossing medium and add maybe some blue a little bit. And I might take this little pretty decal cameo that I put in a, in a bezel and I might add that but I don't want to cover my words maybe I might put it there I don't know or maybe oh this might be a good idea maybe I'll pull this piece up I can't do it with my fingers I don't want to take the time now but okay. I just pull the loop up maybe drill a hole there and hang that from the bottom I'd like to hang yeah, it yeah 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 like that's what we want to do that's beautiful. and then put a hole here and a hole here and what, what a fascinating what piece. a pretty necklace and was that hard I mean, I just rolled right through that for you. Yeah, this video is going to be long, but when you, th when you consider all the stuff we're going to do in this amount of time, eh. All nothing. the ideas it's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. So there you go. You got that. Okay, I'm going to show you how to put the perfect pearls on this and then a little bit of tissue. Okay, once again, I'm going to take my... I think this is a fresher one, yeah. So I'm going to take, and I'm just going to go all over this raised edge of this heart, which is... Uh, did I write it down? Probably not. Anyway, we have it on the website in the raw brass. This little heart. Okay, so I've rubbed it all over with this. How detailed can you get with the perfect pearls? Like well, it's just it's just like a sheen, a sheen. coat. Yeah, it's okay. a sheen coat. So I'm just gonna dry brush. I've got the, this stuff on. I'm taking right off my surface. And so just it's more or less for all right. over yeah. to give it up. Yeah, and it's not it's oh, not it's just, You know what it does? It just it's so lights it, it up. Yeah, it's it lights just, it up. Yeah, but we need more of this stuff. I think maybe I'm waiting too long. you got to be quick. Maybe I didn't have be enough. Quick, Brenda. I mean, have, be quick, Brenda. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Now, now, now. Yep, yeah, here we go. Okay. Now we're good. And you could just take it and put it with your finger, too, on there and get it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just didn't have enough. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? If you like this look right here. I do for summer. I like that. Don't look. even do anything else to it. Or you could paint it white, then do this over it. How you know, awesome it would that be? reminds me of the old rose gold. Yeah, it does. How you get that. So you could just make, you know, and then you could seal over this. Um, you could probably do uh, just Krylon matte spray lacquer over this if you wanted to just leave it like that. You know, and have it pink. But I want to do a little bit of tissue decoupage over it. So I am going to take a little tiny piece of this paper. One of these packs is going to take you down so many creative roads. You are going to make so much stuff out of one pack of this stuff. It's just crazy. I think this is the first pack I ever had, and I'm still working on it. So, Okay, so once again, a little bit of Mod Podge down. And that's why I'm saying get started with this this week, and next week we'll perfect it. You know, just get started you know, with it. Things seem so hard until you watch somebody else do See, it. This is not hard. There's nothing. My biggest problem today is there was just too much crap happening today. You ever it's have a, a day a where you just day. had too much garbage I happening? I had the same kind of day you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> So oh, no. anyway, so I'm just putting a little bit here, and like I say, I want to tear this back away from the edges. I gotta get my fingers out of the way so you guys can see. 
because if you don't then you're gonna have to fold it under and then it doesn't look as good but see I just got a little piece there and then maybe I'm gonna take and I'm going to um, just take another little piece you know for balance one here one here and just go like that there I'm really and, liking this. Yeah. I didn't even think Oops. I would be as impressed as I am. Yeah, it's so so impressive. You can take a decoupage. And Every, you everything just think I do when is just so so impressive, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that dropping it on my lap with wet Mod Podge. I don't want to get into the near miss and then near miss. Uh, one day we have to tell you about the trailers. Not, <laughs> <laughs> no, not the trailers. <laughs> Yeah, see now, that's what not to today. do. That's what not to do. I wiped it too soon and almost took the whole dang thing off. Don't do that. There's still some yeah, on there. And, it's, and it's enough. It's enough too. Yeah, it's, it's still enough. balancing it's, it out. It's balanced, you know. So when this is dry... Can you... Well... What? No, I changed my mind about asking you a question. Yeah, don't. Because I thought it was done myself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about asking a dumb question. Anyway, when this dries, then you can fiddle with it some more. Put some more perfect pearls in that. Make a whole bunch of these and make a really, really cool mixed media necklace. That would be awesome. Oops, down it went. Anyway, okay. That's it. So now I did tell you I was going to do this. This is harder, but it's um, still not that hard. Here comes Shelly. Oh, goody, Shelly. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> leaving and coming back. Go to the side. Go I never away. had so much fun. We're filming. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this one. Okay, so first thing you got to have is a piece big enough with something going on that looks interesting. Well, here's a piece big enough. With, that's got all kinds of stuff on it. So, all right, so I'm going to, I have to liberally. And it might even be good to, um, I cut the piece first to fit, kind of, sort of. Because, like, go and clear out the edges. I'm it's going to be hard to cut it, though. Yeah. You could do it. Well, I like to tear it away. That's yeah, what I did in the I first video. Tear. So, anyway, so here I'm going to put it down on there. When it gets soft, it'll just do whatever you want. And then here we go down on it. Get down on it. Oh. We, were, we were listening to disco music this We're morning. dating ourselves. Uh, we're trying to get out of the terrible doldrums. Da, 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 da. I, we used to clean to that when we lived at our trailers uh, yeah, on yeah. Baird Road. Yeah, Baird Road trailers. That's going back. Where you get frozen. 38 years frozen. around done. I'm telling you what. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Well, this is broke when it was oh, zero. And John got, had to oh, fix something. Uh, John be standing John's up John's an arable boy. Oh, John be standing up on the... <laughs> Roof in the wind, trying to put a tire around the chimney. <laughs> so we're, not we're not burning burning burning. Okay, I'm gonna tell these people okay, how to do this. Stop. We shut up, Don. Okay, I am. All right. I'm done. Okay. So, so as you can see, I'm good. tearing. Tearing is wonderful. Yeah. Tearing is good, and you don't have to cover this whole thing because you know you could do some paint around the edges of it. Yeah. You know, um, you don't, want, you don't want bubbles under there too much. But, I mean, you can deal with just about anything. It's about just getting some on there. I did so much better with the first one. But when you could put the edges, something around the edges there, it's going to be nice anyway. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nicer. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so now how do I get my hole back from the metal? Well, that's easy. There you go. Sharp just objects. Sharp objects. <laughs> <laughs> running with scissors. Don't run with scissors. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, this is good for you, us being kind of lunatics. I don't know. We're just too tired. That's you, the trouble. You, you, I can't continue myself. And see, then you can tired. take this here, these needle nose uh, tweezers. Wish them a call. <laughs> this is so professional. We gotta sell these on the site. <laughs> I'll never get a book deal, Donna. Oh, okay. it's my fault, not so, yours. Yeah, You're it's, normal. it's all your fault. Okay, so you just go down in through here in these cracks and kind of pull that away. You guys got pair of needle nose tweezers. I think we're out of them right now, but uh, they're on the way. They are. Yeah, the guy so told on the us way. when they're on the way. I have to get myself a pair. Yeah, we got everything you need, honestly, we do. Sometimes we run out, though, that's the only thing. We're going to do better. Okay, yeah, we are doing better. Yeah. Dang it. We don't want to Okay, run. so now you got that one done. That's flat. Okay, that has to dry. Um, I would do another layer of the Mod Podge after that's done. Okay, then... You flatten the piece out as much as you can too, because they're kind of dimensional. See how they can come. Can you put them back? Oh yeah. Dimensional again. Yeah, just this? very carefully. You bend them Should back. Should you do it when they're wet or no? When they're dry. Yeah. And it won't crack it. 
Well, you have to do it gently, Donna. Well, of course, that we know that. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Obvious. So now I'm up. I'm. Sunshine on my shoulders. Okay. I wish I had some sunshine on my oh. shoulders. Okay. We need spring, Brenda. We need spring. Okay. So more Mod Podge. Literally, lots of it. Mod Podge is cheap. So don't worry about how much you use. Non-toxic. Yay. That's what we want. Non-toxic. Non -toxic. Okay, it's down. It's on there. Geez, Javi's going to be here all night editing, editing this. Okay. So now another piece is going on here. And go over it. Yeah, I think I discovered something wonderful with those tweezers for doing this. I think that's what you want to get. Can you give me credit for that somehow? Did you discover it? <laughs> well, I guess, I I like guess we'll know when we go back and we watch this. I told you to use a sharp object. Do Whoa, that, that was the sharpest object I had <laughs> at the time. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to just kind of start pulling it out. And like, you know, don't worry about if you don't have it all the way to the edge, that's kind of almost preferable. I don't think I'd like it to the edge anyway. Because then, see, what, what you can do when it's dry, and we're not going to be able to do this in this video, but what I'm going to do is I am not going to do anything else with these particular pieces this week. And I'm going to save them, and we're going to finish them together down to the rivet. How's that? Next week. So you got a reason to come back You never now. told them how your tooth extraction went. Do you think they want to know that? No, they don't. That's why I brought oh, it up. Oh, jeez, Donna. <laughs> she was so, Frickin so... Frickin' frack. She was so wiped out when she came back from her teeth. Oh, be quiet. Okay, once again, we've got a hole in here. And we got to get that hole back. Okay? And I'm not going to put any more Mod Podge over top of that because I'll tear the paper right now. Okay? So we're going to leave this. And next week, what we're going to do is we will end up putting them together, bending it back, and then I'm going to do the um, perfect medium, perfect pearls around the edges. And next week, too, I'm going to show you how you can take and do one of these crescents like this, and then add your flower to the side, and then an ornament, which in this case is a piece of busted jewelry. You could do that. I think maybe that was a button. You could do that, or you could do this another piece of tissue under a lens i'm going to show you how to do that real quick that's too pretty yeah this here would go good on, yeah, that. Go good on that tie so get, get till next week till we do in the next video get a bunch of your little junky things that you got laying around together and be ready to play with me maybe um if you're if you're able to uh, stop over to the website and get fig 06261 the necktie because we're going to concentrate on that and a few others Javi will put all these numbers on for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this real quick, and then we're going to be done for today, because I think you've probably had about enough of us. So no, I don't know. If I don't I, even know what I'm doing. If, so if I was I you, I, I would have. Okay, so now all you do is um, you want to get a little piece out of here. And, of course, you probably want to take into account what it says, but for lack of time, I hope oh, it doesn't say anything that looks dumb. But... Um, yeah, you would have to really watch that because if you well, cut words up, you don't know what. He might say do. death or something. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> what's well, making sure I'm like that? Okay. <laughs> read it carefully before you. Yeah. Go. Oh, it just says a long something or other. Okay. Okay. So now I have to trim this some more because that's too weird. Okay. Trim it here and here. And this is going to be so simple, guys. I, we did this before a few weeks ago. We have lots of these 18 millimeter uh, bezels with the loop edge. So just stick that down in there. Do you it got looks the, like lace. Do you got that, Javi? Just stick that down in there. And then we take the, the uh, magnifier, which is base 07687, which is 18 millimeter. They come six in a pack, and they're very cheap. Voila! Okay. Just goes down in there like that. And then someone has suggested that maybe um, if you don't want to mar it and you don't have the rub, rubber edge uh, pliers or whatever, the nylon jaw pliers, uh, to use your t-shirt <laughs> over it. But, you know, I'm not going to hang this, so it doesn't matter if I mar the back up. So but basically all you do again is just take your chain nose or your flat nose and bend this down. But if you do it this way, you'll ding up the back. See, I'm dinging the back a little bit. 
So if you were going to make this into a charm drop, which I have done with great pleasure and joy, um, then you're going to want to protect the metal. But basically all you're doing is just crimping down the edges. That's how it goes. These are so awesome. You can connect them. You, you can hang them. You can do all kinds of things. And I got a little bit of Mod Podge on there, but all I'll do is I'll just take uh, a little bit of my baby wipes and wipe that off. And voila, that's how you do it. Well, those are a lot like of that. ideas. Yeah, I mean, you can make a whole bunch of this stuff up and be ready and, you know, get stuff, you know, make, just have a day making components and then just play. It's nice when yeah, you have enough space yeah. you can just keep them just, out Just there. play and yeah. have a good time. None of these things cost a whole lot. Mod Podge is inexpensive. The Perfect Pearls are not expensive. Um, the brass parts are made in the United States and they are rich, low brass, which is the best brass you can buy. And they're made from the old vintage dye. So anyway, we have all the good stuff at BC Boutiques. Come and see us and thank you for putting up with our wonky video. But what can I say? It's a, we were tired today. And we were tired today we and do? it's a rotten day outside. Yeah. But uh, hey. We're just trying to lighten up our mood. We're all together, yeah. right? We're all in the same boat. So have a good week, and we'll catch you next week. Thanks a lot, guys.